Hey, it's Noel Christopher. Quick Friday recap, or kind of a recap, I guess. Just a little bit of talking about what we're working on. So we've been working on home builder, working with home builders, and to connect them with funds, whether it's uh, you know a large institutional fund, it's smaller investors or funds that we work with. There's a huge play in the build to rents and new construction world. You know, what we found is some of these larger builders, they're already in front of a lot of these funds, but what they're not in front of is smaller investors. So we're gonna be announcing here soon in the next couple of weeks, we're working with the top 10 home builder that we're gonna take some listings around the country and take them through our, our local broker channel, but market them in a different way. So they'll be on the MLS, they'll be marketed like, a, like any home you see on the MLS except for one thing. They're not being marketed to a home buyer as far as an owner-occupied buyer, they're marketed towards an investor. So we're gonna be talking about an investment property that performs at a certain yield that can have a certain appreciation over the years and a certain ROI. And this is different than how most homes are marketed and this is different how, than how most home builders market homes. So we've t testing with this with our first home builder. I think it's really exciting. They're gonna give us basically a you know one listing per community that's a unique floor plan. So we might have two or three floor plans in a community, might list those homes. If we have investors that wanna buy more than one, there's a there's some supply behind that. And I think it's a different channel to focus on that with these home builders that really aren't getting in front of the small investor. And the reason this is relevant is that small investor can sometimes pay more than an institutional fund because they can be a little bit more flexible with their yield. They can look at longer home price appreciation and value of the home and, and you know they're buying now for their retirement in 15 or 20 years. So they can buy at a lower year, yield, they can be more aggressive, they're not asking as much of a discount as the larger funds. So interesting channel um, and I think it's something that we can be really successful with with these builders to put their assets, so they're putting them in front of homeowners they're putting them in front of larger funds, and now they're putting them in front of the small, smaller SFR investor that is actually the majority of the investors that buy SFR real estate. Make a comment, let me know what you think. Pretty excited about the things we're doing, and I'll talk to you soon, thanks.